There's an old saying in the theatre, the show must go on. In the authoritarian former Soviet Republic of Belarus, one group of artists take that saying very seriously. For years, the Belarus Free Theatre has defied the hardline government and its ruthless security forces. Using temporary spaces and word of mouth, it continues to perform despite facing threats of arrest and persecution. And despite the systematic persecution of activists under the current political crackdown, with founders and some cast members forced to flee, the theatre is flourishing. The ABC's Norman Hermont reports from the Belarusian capital, Minsk. It's a familiar scene backstage the world over before a performance. All hands on deck. Actors and stage crew readying costumes, props, even the seats for the audience. And being the world of theater, no one's going to win any anti-smoking accolades. But make no mistake, this is no typical theater. We have our passports with us all the time. They can come each minute and arrest us, but it's worth the risk, because one can't be silent. One should do something. One should speak about that. This is the Belarus Free Theatre, a rare form of free artistic expression in Europe's most repressive state. The company exists in the shadows. Even getting the audience to the performance is a challenge. Unfortunately, we have no chance to play our performances openly the way we want to, with advertising around the entire city, with the tickets being sold out. Since we are not a registered theatre, we have to do that a bit secretly, to put it mildly, to have at least any opportunity to show the performances. Audiences don't come to the theatre, the theatre comes to them. New audience members receive an SMS or an email telling them a spot near the theater to meet. That's when a production member comes and takes them to the theater itself. The location has to remain hidden because the authorities want to shut this theater down. So it's off through the side streets of a Minsk suburb. Despite the clandestine rendezvous for the audience, despite the fact performance dates spread through word of mouth, Despite the current venue, little more than a well-worn house, they are sold out. Everyone's name is checked, another precaution to weed out state security, the KGB. Then, with people squeezed into every available space of this tiny theatre, the show begins. What the audience experiences is a performance that touches on just about anything about politics, about sex, about society. Most of all, it's about life in a country where performing like this can get you arrested. By defying the government, by tackling any subject, this rogue company has won over many fans. You can't find uh, any place yet, uh, where you can uh, see these things because all our mass media is uh, under control. So uh, all our channels, uh, they are all under control, so our government, so you can't see anything like this. Now it's really a uh, difficult situation in politics, in economics, in our life at all. So here, um, just some people try to explain really important things and try to uh, get other people the truth, I think. In the past, entire audiences have been arrested, actors have been persecuted and fired from their state theater jobs. The artistic director is facing criminal charges and has fled the country. But for six years, the Belarus Free Theater has carried on. No one here is willing to stop. No matter how someone tries to make us shut up, to close our performances, to complicate our existence, we have an opportunity to speak and we will speak. It's that spirit that makes these artists so reviled by Belarus's government and so respected by their theatre peers around the world. They've worked with leading playwrights, they've performed throughout Europe and in America and Australia. And to a person, they hope in 10 years, their company won't exist because it won't be needed. We shall have free press, free media. People will get an opportunity to get out to the square and enjoy themselves, to express their opinions openly and freely.
For now, in Belarus, that freedom is just a dream. One of the few places it can be found is here, a theater determined that its artistic voice is heard in a country that demands silence. Norman Hermont, Late Line.